on the way to Victoria guys high country I'm gonna go to this place there's a lot of somebody people come over from Tasmania to hunt at this spot the last time we were there there was a lot of deer and did not get any we just find out this spot where you can hunt a lot of deer but we were there first time so we didn't know our way around but now we know thanks to some locals that point out to us where, where is the good spot for hunting now we're gonna go and test it out last time, last time we've seen the quite a few days and heard of them all over the forest it was very exciting it was uh, our last last hunt in the forest so we could not explore anymore hopefully this time it's gonna be much better so we're gonna have a we're gonna have about three days to hunt two days out of the window so friday saturday sunday morning and on sunday afternoon we're gonna leave let's see what's gonna happen two hours in not even two one hour and a half on the hume highway and there's a massive accident at the front somewhere yeah we're gonna be stuck for the next hour or so must be bad because they letting one car by one on the highway, major highway like this. We got to the camp last night, uh, between six and seven. Uh, so far, there's a lot of signs of being like everywhere. Uh, we heard them like 50 meters from the camp last night. And this is the spot that I'm hunting at the moment. That's just the river below. And I'm following the trail from the deep Samba. It's going in this direction. It's maybe 100, 150 meters ahead of me. So I'm gonna go slowly and follow it. If I can catch up with it, but the wind is not on my side, so I'm gonna wait a little bit and see if the wind is gonna change. So it's a beautiful country out right here, guys. Nice river down there. Very easy to hunt. You can see probably two, three hundred meters through the forest. It's about three hundred meters down there. And some parts are very steep, like this one here. But love it. As you can see, it just pooped there. It's still fresh. So uh, it's going this way. I'm just gonna slowly go slowly and follow it. I'm on a cliff rock, rock cliff, whatever you wanna, wanna call it. And I can see everything down below. And it's like I can cover about thousand square meters always. On this side as well. If anything moves I can probably feel it and see it so I'm gonna stay here for a while and this is the other side over there and it's about 150 meters distance but the only problem is there's a river in between so even if something comes up from that side I gotta let it come on this side because I don't want to swim over the river to get the deer so hopefully if I stay a little bit longer here so that something will show up back to camp this is the camp that's where we sleep we got some timber firewood because we're gonna stay for a couple of days here so i'm just cleaning uh chainsaw had a bit of a run this morning with uh, somebody running in a circles and uh, samba outsmart us so we couldn't find it very big noise somebody apart from that it's a friday morning so looking forward for the afternoon still friday 
There's a little kangaroo just about 15 meters below me, just sit there on the sun. And the sun is clearing around it. So I'm hoping some deer might come up this way. So kangaroo is pretty, pretty much chill. I'm gonna try to zoom in if I can. Just there, chilling. It's a nice sunny spot. Hopefully, some deer will come to this side and warm up as well. So, I'm gonna wait to see. kangaroos much they don't get along and uh, kangaroos watching to the left to look out the gun and see maybe the deer is coming up just before the dark we're pulling in the camp earlier because of its wind it's so windy it's not funny anymore and it's very hard to caught up with the deer, they're everywhere, but because it's so windy, the wind comes from every direction, we can't avoid it at all. So we're gonna go back to camp now, relax and try tomorrow morning. Cheers! I just want you to see guys how beautiful this part of the forest is. That's the river down there. And this is where the all the somebody comes up when the sun hits this side for baking on the sun. So we might come back tomorrow to check that out. Just before we came down, we were on the way to camp and we sort of had a look glassing for like two minutes and we saw big massive buck here and it's gone now by the time we got off the road and came down it's gone it's been windy all night like crazy i've never seen so strong wind in a forest like this this is the first time uh, wake up every hour to check it's everything there didn't fly off or something like that so yesterday we've seen one deer buck but on a distance what was it 130 130 meters away on the other side of the river so we're gonna go back to that spot this afternoon probably around not actually morning 10 around 10 10 30 to check if there's any deer sitting there on that ridge because the sun's gonna hit that ridge there and they come out to bake on the sun so hopefully it's gonna be sunny looks like hopefully <laughs> so sunday morning getting ready we're gonna knock off it's about what six o'clock in the morning yeah six what's the time six no, seven. Seven. Oh. seven still windy hopefully this wind is gonna stop the wind is destroying us with different directions from everywhere so uh, Sancho is getting ready as well
so traces every day fresh from this morning and the sun she just got one I'm going on the other side spooked it out from this spot and got it Oh, you shouldn't. <laughs> One more time. To make you sure it's dead, I guess. Hunch. Here we go, Sancho got one, it's a dough and it's fat, a lot, of, a lot of meat on it, it's about one or two years old eh? Yeah, around two years. This is the guy, he always gets them, <laughs> but yeah, very nice samba. Next shot. Next shot there, beautiful. Clean this. They are ready for transport. We got it. Um, Sancho got it. I just watched and hold the legs. <laughs> but yeah, it's very nice. So the hard part is we have to pull it out all the way up there. But 150 meters is not that bad. Not that but bad yet. Yeah, 150 meters. We should be Up alright. Uphill. Uphill. <laughs> it's not it's not flat. It's not flat. <laughs> not flat at all. So yeah. Stay tuned guys. Already cleaned like from the butchery shop. And we're gonna leave it like that to hang for a couple of hours for all the blood that get out from the meat. And then we're gonna chop it in pieces and put it in the freezers and take it home. It's very nice fat samba. Plenty of meat, all done and dusted. And this is finished product, nicely packed in, so we don't get any surprises like flies or anything like that. So yeah, that's how it should be, and it's ready to stay on and get a little bit of fresh air. So we're gonna have a capsicum and mushrooms with a little bit of meat. I can't have anything without me. Meat is good. Butter. Now we're gonna add the sour cream on this one. And it's a golden like that. Chuck more in. One more. Looks good. And that's it. Oh. Now we're gonna cook this like that a little bit. It gets a yellow color. Yeah, there's a salt here. I can add a, um, add a little bit more later. Guys, this is ready. Now I'm gonna have a good breakfast. And this one, you just do it with the bread. It's beautiful. Now we're heading down to the lake, try some fishing, if you are lucky. Like uh, getting the deer. Let's try. Yeah. So hopefully we're gonna get, get some trout. And if we get that too, it will be really good trip this time. <laughs> yep. Today is our lucky day, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, we get some fish as well. So this is the river that goes into the lake. 
So we're not gonna fish on the river, so we're gonna go down further down to the lake because right now the season is closed for rivers and creeks but lake is always open. So yeah. Back from fishing, no much luck. Having a cappuccino and looking at fire. Still windy, not as much as this morning, but still wind around. Lucky we got one at least on this wind. I'm very surprised. But there's a lot of deer down here. It's so many traces of deer, and it's not funny. I've never seen so many traces of deer like on this spot here it's unbelievable we find few really good spots that we will revisit next time and hopefully we will record uh, some deer yesterday we were looking at that deer on the other side across the river big buck and that was the end of the day didn't get a chance to go today when it was sunny to see is there gonna be any more than that one but next time so definitely we're gonna come back to this one again now we're gonna chill out have a coffee cut up the meat put it in the freezers then we're gonna have a dinner barbecue chavapi eat relax again and go to sleep maybe a little bit later go to sleep to, tonight well last night we went nine o'clock and I wake up so many times I thought it's already time to get up <laughs> like every hour after one or one or one thirty or two o'clock I was waking up <laughs> thinking oh it's already daylight but it's not <laughs> so probably um probably go a little bit later to bed so we sleep all night through that's for this update so after three days the wind stopped finally and it's so nice as you can see there's no wind we got big fire going relaxing chillaxing Sanchez chillaxing there yep. myself I'm chillaxing <laughs> here <laughs> So it's been a nice, nice trip this time. Nice we enjoyed it very much. So yeah, now very we're gonna nice. cook the dinner. We're gonna uh, do chavape, Bosnian traditional meal chavape. If anyone tell you it's from somewhere else, it's not. It's a Bosnian meal chavape. <laughs> but a lot of people they wanna take it as their own, but it's not Bosnian. <laughs> <laughs> These are chavapi with some mushrooms that we're gonna add to it. But the main meal, chavapi, Sancho is the what? cook. <laughs> <laughs> and it's dark already. Peach dark, peach black, peach dark. <laughs> but we can prepare the lights everywhere. Hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is hot and spicy. Slowly cooking slowly. That's the secret. Yep. You cook it slowly so it doesn't burn. Not too much fire. Just enough. Just enough. Chirap is the best. Like that. Lucky every single Bosnian knows about Chavap. I don't know anyone that doesn't know about Chavap in Bosnia. Balkan, Balkan. Balkan, oh Balkan, yeah. All <laughs> yeah. Balkan know about Chavapi, but 
the best ones is in Bosnia. Bosnians. Yeah. In Kosovo. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Oh, ho. you lost two. There we go. Just put them back. I lost couple. Just put them back, and whatever it's there, it's gonna burn. <laughs> yep. Okay. Here we are. Picked up the camp. Sunday morning, leaving home. We're gonna stop on the way in one camp campground next to the river. I'm gonna record that as well. So it's a beautiful morning down here in forest. But it looks like it's gonna rain again. So we are leaving right on time. Probably today afternoon or maybe early it's gonna start raining I already feel a little bit of rain on my face but apart from that excellent trip definitely inshallah coming back to do hunting here because this is the best spot the best stop for hunting somebody that I've ever came across so stay tuned guys, there will be more. There's a lot of frost around here, it was probably below the zero this morning. There's a little bit of ice on the road as well. You gotta be careful about it. But it's a nice drive. The sun's just come up, everything's melting down where the sun's hits it. But if you look at the side of the road, there's a still frost there. We are just on the top of this mountain. Now we're gonna start coming down the mountain slowly. As you there's a bit of a frost on, on, on this part of the road as well and it's melting down back to the fog again it was nice sunny day up there but now we're coming down and into the fog again it's still strong sun here and it's very hard to see anything <laughs> pretty much Visibility is not that good at the moment. Yeah, but here we go. The sun is out of the picture for a while. We're gonna go in the foggy part now. So, this is a very nice uh, camping area. Uh, there are toilets as well. Think, uh, on the other side of the river as well nice river down here uh, it's got a, a lot of trout in it you can come fish and slash camp with your family if you want to this is where where this at so it's nice and flat grassy area as you can see people come here for camping and you can hear the river down there Gonna walk quickly to the river. That's the river there. It's nice big at this time of the year. But normally it's got nice flow throughout the year. It's a nice fishing spot. Plenty of trout in that river there. So this is a other side of the river, other side of the road, campground. I like this side better than the, the other one because you can camp basically next to the river, like on this side here, behind this bush. Somebody's been camping there. Normally, they have timber ready for you here, you don't have to bring your own timber. It's that time of the year that's not many people coming this way to camp. And that's the river. It's a beautiful river. 
a lot of trout if you like trout fishing you can come and camp here with your family and uh, do a bit of trout fishing and it's deep and fast and cold as well I wouldn't recommend swimming in this river it's coming from the mountain maybe it's summertime but still it's gonna be cold a very nice camp it's about four and a half hours from Sydney our pit stop when we go hunting we stop here empty tires or on the way back we fill up the tires but it's a very nice area very nice area on the way home guys uh, this will be it for this adventure till next adventure don't do anything I wouldn't do